everyone, Jason Alea back here again, and third episode of Loki had dropped today. Just watched it, and in my opinion, this is probably my favorite episode so far. It's like, each episode gets better and better and better. Whereas with the other shows, the episodes would kind of like, go up or go down for me each way. This here seems to be going consistently up. And I love it. This episode we get to meet not Lady Loki, but Sylvia, who in the comics is Enchantress. And they talk about her enchantment powers a lot in this episode. So basically obvious, it's she's Enchantress. So it's not Lady Loki. Which will make which makes sense in the context of how they explain in the episode and how she doesn't really have these same abilities as Loki and so I kind of like that reveal it doesn't like it uh, retcon anything or forget anything that the other episode established but also add something to them and seeing their banter in this entire episode starting off as like two people that really don't get along with each other to two people who mutually respect one another despite their differences and struggles. I really like how the episode progressed with how these characters get to know each other. And they don't, tr and the episode doesn't try to like make one seem better than the other. Both Loki and Enchantress have moments whenever they do fight physically where one can like you could go on top of one another. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. One can one person could win at a fight and the other person can have an advantage that can help them win. They're both an equal pair. And the show spends time with them physically fighting in the beginning for us to know just how compatible they are in terms of their physicality and their powers. And I love how they use them. But also my favorite parts have to be near the end. But before I get to talk about that, I want to talk about a specific scene in the middle. So after Loki and Enchantress goes to a lady and she tells them that there's a train going somewhere that they need to to power up a de their device in order to get to the TVA. Um, Loki and Enchantress sneak their way into the train. And in that train, Loki and Enchantress talk about a bit of their past and who they are as people. And we get to see Loki be vulnerable here, talk about his mother and his past chapter of life. Talk talking about how he's able to learn all of his powers and abilities from his mother and it really emphasizes how important his mother is to his life. I really love how despite Thor's and Loki's mother not being a significant character before, like she is now starting to become someone like really important. It's someone that you can remember back to when you watch the other Thor movies now. With this new bit of information, it adds so much to the character and backstory that actually kind of makes Thor The Dark World a little better. It makes her death a bit more impactful. So I really like that. I also really like how we're able to see Loki become vulnerable at moments, feeling like a natural character letting out how he feels. I really enjoyed the little moments with these two interacting. And this leads to an extremely cool fighting in the train in which Loki gets drunk, doesn't care about anything at the moment because the plane is about to just dis get destroyed, but the device that they need to charge up is ruined when he gets thrown out the train. As well as Enchantress. Uh, and that is when they had the brilliant idea to walk all the way back to town 
and try to get on a ship as a last ditch effort. And there, there's a cool one take shot of the two of them fighting through the guards and trying to get through all these people and all the rocks coming down from the moon, from the planet's moon, to try and get to that ship and escape alive. It was a cool one take shot. And I gotta say the cinematography in this entire episode, as well as here, is so colorful and so breathtaking. The visuals look so weird, but so cool. I love it. I love the visual style of this episode. And this whole entire ending sequence was just like one of my favorite one takes in the MCU. Like it's not like daredevil levels of amazing, but in terms of the main continuity, the MCU, like in the main storyline, it is one of my favorite one take scenes. And so I gotta admire that. And it ends with the characters not being able to complete their goals. And it, and it shows it with no dialogue and just cuts off there. What a great ending. I really dug this episode and how it builds on character, establishes who Enchantress is, tries to build the relationship these two are going to have throughout the rest of the season. It was just a great episode. Also, a cool reveal. All the time bear, all the, all the people that work in the TVA that, um, were created by the timekeepers. They weren't really created apparently. Because Enchantress finds out that these employees that are created by the timekeepers actually had lives on Earth. They were people on Earth, born and raised. And it seems like what Enchantress found out about that girl we saw in the in the last episode who had her mind uh had her mind controlled by enchantress like she had a life before that was a cool reveal because it just adds a lot more uncertainty about the tva and how truthful they are in their beliefs like what is going on now they are clearly lying about something. And it just adds a bit more mystery to this entire season. I love I love this episode. It adds so much and gives us a lot of new stuff to look forward to and speculate about. I mean, I love this episode. You gotta check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.